This game contains flashing images and loud noises. Press enter to continue. Oh. oh, for a second it took a while to load. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we have file information. This one's empty. Huh. Okay, guess we start a new file. Okay, then. It's the first game I've ever seen that has a save file. That's pretty interesting. Oh, we get a cutscene. Okay, that's the original office. That's from Final Fantasy Warriors 1. Oh, I see Wario Man, a.k.a. Bruno Gates. Or Bruno Gates. Ah! Oh god, he's killing all the characters! Oh my god, he just killed Wario and the gang. Okay, there's a house. Demon Wario. Ah! Jump scare! Oh. Oh, it's Toon Link. Oh, that was just a nightmare? Okay. First day of work, 11.34 a.m. Yep, okay, so we're playing as Toon Link in this game, and we gotta go to work. And we just woke up from a nightmare. Oh, yeah, phone call. We're in an office, okay. Oh, it's the same phone now, guy from Finance and Dark Pit. It's the same voice actor. Really? Great. See a house. Nice showing my house will be in safe hands. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be like Finance Warriors 3. Oh, sorry. What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Those Knights of Warriors 3 Infinite Cycle. Where this is a Financial Warriors fan game made by, um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to read it. It's, uh, Miss, Miss Ta L. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but I think it's made by Mr. L. Characters belong to Nintendo, Financial Freddy's by Scott Capon, and Financial Warriors was originally made by WWW Wario. And this is one of those fan games. Now, as you can tell by the title screen, there's a house and, um, I was about, and I was about to say this before the game went to the menu. Um, for this game, it's going to be like Finance Warriors 3, Trap Within, Switched in Time, and, fi and Finance Warriors 3 Customer Edition, since we're going to be in a house, and it reminds me a lot of those games. We got, But anyways, let's see. Ooh. Oh, so every time you press, you put your mouse over these, it shows, it shows a character in the house. That's pretty cool. But anyways, without further ado, if we got standard mode, we will start a new game and see what it has to offer for us. Alright, new game. Oh, we're in a house. Okay. Oh, I can punk the nose on that thing? That's pretty cool. And we got a phone call, we got a camera to check. Yeah, we're in the main living room. The house is behind you. Hopefully you set up some cameras around the outside of the house. If anyone sneaks in behind you, you should be able to see them in the mirror in front of you. You do not want to make a lot of eye contact with the security. So you use your security tablet to cover your eyes until they leave. But then there is the door to your right into the kitchen. If someone comes in from that door, you're just going to have to look away from them and not use your tablet. Just look away. This isn't the first time a worker has had to deal with spirits, though. We have a few gadgets to help you out. The camera map will detect abnormal activity and mark a strong point of um, spirit energy as red. That's probably where the spirits will appear each time they come to you. Be 
should also keep track of where you are. Marking that room is yellow. Any blue lines on a room marked is a point where a house can be left, like a door or something. Someone leaves one of these rooms and isn't a connected room. Check the outdoor cameras. All right, just stay safe. Avoid eye contact and try to get out of the house. If you can't, I'll contact you tomorrow. Now listen, if you do end up stuck there, be sure to hide in a different room the next day. You do not want to stay in the same room than once, all right? Good luck. Okay, so just like Final Fantasy Warriors 3, we're starting night one in the living room. And the mechanics are the same. If we see someone in the mirror, we gotta put the camera up. If we see someone in the kitchen right there, then we gotta look away from them. Alright, and and I got a knife. And I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, this this game was requested for me to this video was requested for me to play by a user named Jeremy, and um, he requested me to play this game, so uh, Thank you for the request, Jeremy. I appreciate that. I will fulfill your request in the next couple for the next couple days. Okay, I wonder who we're dealing with. Hmm. All right, so I'm just checking the mirror and the kitchen. I don't really have to use camera this night except to put it up. When somebody's there. Okay, let's look. Hmm. Alright, and that camera uses battery that recharges automatically, just like the third game. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm just looking right now, see who we're dealing with. Yeah, like I said earlier, we're playing as Toon Link in this game, who was apparently at his job as a security guard, and he got a call from Richard McCoy that he had to go watch a house. Huh. That was that was actually an interesting plot cutscene. Ah, Wario. Okay, I see Wario. Okay, so if Wario comes from the kitchen, we have to look away from him, which I am right now. And then if Wa and then whoever's coming from the mirror, we gotta put up the camera. Okay, I got rid of Wario. Perfect. Now I gotta check for whoever else we're dealing with. And then I also forgot to mention, um, I also got a request to play this game by a user named um, Nikki. Thank you for the requests, Nikki and Jeremy. I will fulfill up the next couple days by playing this game. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just having some water if you're wondering. Okay, let's see. Who else? Where is... Okay, I'm checking for Wario, and I'm checking the mirror see who comes from there. I haven't seen anybody yet. Huh, that's really interesting. Up oh, there's... Oh, Waluigi. Okay. Okay, so if Waluigi comes from the mirror, we have to put the camera up. And then for Wario, we have to look away from him. And I wonder who that guy is in the picture right there. Who we can honk the nose for. I wonder who that guy is. Because <laughs> I don't know who he is. Okay, I'm looking for Wario and Waluigi. I do not see them right now. I hear their sound cues. I'm familiar with the sound cues because that's because they have the same type of sounds in like almost every Final Fantasy Warriors game and fan game. Oh, Wario. Gotta look to the left. Duh. Okay, Wario came. Did he leave? Let me check. Good.
Oh, it's 5 a.m. already, so we're doing well so far. Oh, that's a new, that's a new, that's a new sound cue. I don't think I've, I haven't heard that sound cue. And we've beaten night one, perfect. Oh, and the sun comes up in the background, that's pretty cool. The sun has risen at this random house I'm in. Uh, which brings us back to the menu where we can continue. And since I got enough time left in this video, we will take on night two in this video as well. So without further ado, we'll take on night two and see what that's for us. Choose a room to hide in. Okay, we got the kitchen and the bathroom. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the bathroom. Cause I usually do that for these type of games on like night two or the kitchen. But I'm gonna do the bathroom for night two. So without further ado, we will take on night two in the bathroom and see what that's for us. Oh, that, that's the same music from the third game. That's pretty cool. Hey, Link. You didn't show up today at work, so I can only assume you're still in the house. So, what did you hide tonight? The bathroom, huh? Alright, not a bad choice. So, in that room, you might not have a lot in there, but if looking away from spirits can keep you safe, you should know that spirits can be rather odd. In there, there are two switches. One for the light and one for the exhaust fan. The only room connected to the bathroom should be the hallway, I believe. But there's also that big window in front of you. The window leads out into the west yard, so watch those cameras. The red rooms on your map should show where the spirit will begin. So use those to find out who's coming to you. Looking at a spirit can tell you a lot about them. For example, a big spirit is likely aggressive and will use the most direct route, likely leading to the hallway behind you. If your back is against the door, you'll see the spirit in the mirror. Aggressive spirits are less hostile and they don't even know you're there. So turn off the light and make sure the fan is off. However, a smaller, more shy spirit may avoid the most direct route, either because they're too shy or don't want to get in the big spirit's way. I assume this spirit would use the window to get in. You'll likely see their figure blocking the view of the outside. Shy spirits get very jittery around loud noises, so keep the light on and turn on the fan. Alright, that should be everything. I wish you the best of luck, man. Okay, so whoever comes from in front of me, we have to keep the light and the fan on. But whoever comes from behind me, we have to turn off the fan and light because because the shy spirits are the shy spirits are scared of the lights and the fans because they make noise. And then the aggressive spirits won't know you're in the room when you tr when you make no noise. Because they're attracted to noise, whereas the shy spirits are scared of noise. Okay, and I can track the and I can track them on the cameras since I can use the camera this night. I didn't I don't really have to use a munch, but, I'm sh but I can check them to track their movements like I did with night one. Because I gotta check the mirror and the window, see who's coming. I thought I heard something, that's why I put my camera down. Okay, that's for the fan. This this switch is for the fan, that one's for the light. Hold on, is there someone behind us? No, there isn't, okay. Okay, I don't see anyone yet. I don't see anyone at the mirror or the uh, 
window. I don't see anybody there, so that's good. I'll check the cameras. God, the cameras have, have a lot of static on it. Kind of take a while to load, that's good. Oh, I saw the sky... I saw the... The sky change. Oh. I think somebody just showed up at the window. I didn't see them, though. I noticed the stars disappear. I don't know. I, I don't know who showed up at the window, but I saw the... The sky... Ch the stars change, and then... And then that character leaving. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't see him. I, I don't know who it was. Okay, I hear footsteps. I don't see anyone yet. I'm checking the window and the the mirror. I don't see anybody yet. Hmm. Haven't had to deal with anybody. I mean, I'm only had to deal with one character because I only had to deal with one anima one character this night because because I saw it at the window, then I left. Ah. Okay, I see Wario. Okay. Okay, so if Wario appears at the window, then we have to turn off the light and the fan. Oh. And I actually just saw a shadow. I actually just saw a shadow while I had the light and the fan off, and I think that was Mario? I don't know. It looks like... I don't know. I gotta look back at my video because I think that was either Mario or Luigi that I saw in the dark because... I saw someone come out of the window. The only one I know that I saw, which which is was easier to see, was Wario. Okay. So if it's either if it's so I think if Mario or Luigi appear at the window, we have to turn off the fan and the the lights. Whereas if Wario appears at the window, then we gotta turn. For from for if Mario or Luigi appear at the window, we have to leave the fan and the light on. But if Wario appears at the window, we gotta turn them off. Like I just did. And it's already 5 a.m., so we're making progress. And we've beaten night two. So that, that was pretty easy. It was, just, it was easy like night one. And we get the sun again, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we have next. Night three bathroom route. Huh, what does that do? Oh. Okay, so for night three, we can pick either three rooms to go in. We got the hallway the third living room, and the study. Hmm. Yeah, let me think. I don't know. I can't really decide on which room to hide in, because they look so... Because, um... Because all the rooms look pretty cool, but, um... But as soon as I start my night three, but, um... I will, I'll think about it after I end this video, um... But anyways, we will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.